Well, hello, everybody. We're uh, going to finish up the last part of this chapter, part three of chapter seven, I believe. And um, I believe I know where to go now because I just, I was, when I was uh, doing the recording, I saw something, which I believe is the way up. But first, I'm actually going to talk to this next, this guy right here because I also remember that he tells us quite a bit about what's going on here. Um, where are we? Where are you from? Uh, we already know that he's from the research team. Council of Peace. There we go. Sent us to s stop the p p plague of insectoids. Okay, so now we now now here's a good chunk of the story. Plague? You mean the insects were going to take over the cities below? Yes, uh, until Gromna came up with his plan. Okay, so what about the plan? You mean the peace treaty? <laughs> peace treaty? <laughs> Hell no! He's helping the bu the bugs get stronger with those cybernetics. They're g going to attack d during the meeting for the treaty. Uh oh! So that's what's gonna happen. What? I must warn the council before it's too late. Already, already too l late, too, too far away from the city. Our poor people are doomed. Not if I have anything to say about it. And so, what about Gromna? Gromna is a traitor. T t traitor and a butcher. He d d did this to to me. Said he didn't w didn't want me to run run away. S s said I s stay here forever. That bastard. Well, we're gonna teach him a thing or two. Even the doorway is blocked by a living oh, wall right. of worms. Click on the box. Thankfully, they don't make you do it over and over and over again. But I believe the path that we need to take is up here. We need to click on this rope. I'll yeah, there it is. Climb up there somehow. Yep, there it is. Up we go. After long ages of waiting, the time has come. Today, you assemble as outsiders, invaders. Tomorrow, your troops will sweep down upon the city in a murderous wave of retribution. For too long, you have known suffering. You have dwelt beneath the surface and watched your aggressors live in lands where you once lived. Will you remain underground forever? Can you endure this terrible injustice for one more day? I am one of them. I, too, have been oppressed by your enemy. They laughed at me and my work. The very work which has given you your new cybernetic enhancements. The technology which will mow down all opposition in the coming war. The work which will allow you to overrun the capital city of Gronterra and assume your rightful place as rulers of this planet. Your planet! Your time has come. Tomorrow's end will see the end of the Cyclopean Age and the dawn of the Insectoids. That bastard. The Insectoid Queen. I will not rest until she is destroyed! She's the one who's getting all those eggs. Make your speeches now, traitor. You won't have breath for long. I'm not sure why they have these pictures these over here. These screens show the enemy horde cheering Gromna's speech. There are so many of them. Surely the Cyclops race will be destroyed unless I can stop the insectoids. The thing is, they look like people, which is kind of funny. But I believe... Right here is These the second piece. Are similar to those Graven used to create the portal. Can I haul her out? There we go. And pull it out. 
<laughs> and inside we go. My God, that's it! All along, it's been so simple. And here we have another cutscene. Could it be? My God, that's it! All along, the answer has been right here, right in front of my eyes the whole time. Now what? The whole damn hive will be bearing down on us any second now. Hold on. I figured it out. The second piece serves as a compass for the wormhole. With this, I can open a doorway anywhere. I'm setting the coordinates for the chambers of the Peace Council. When we tell them about Gromna, they'll launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the hive. That's it! And we win! done some incredible work, Max. It's really a shame. Now where am I? That Cyclops? Bugs? Mother? All of these monsters must mean something, but what? Ah, and we gain closer to the truth. I'm gonna quickly check my time since that one actually by really quickly, so give me a moment. Well, we're only at six minutes, so I might as well try to finish up this area. This area is not too big. A woman's corpse. I'll be in a bag soon, too, if I don't get out of here. Yeah. A woman's... Oh, okay, so... There we go. Beware, Max. The closer you come to reaching your goal, the more danger you are in. Someone seeks to keep you here with us forever. One who will do anything to keep you from leaving the asylum. Oh god, we're still in the asylum? Why? Who conspires against me? I can only say that if you leave, it will mean this person's downfall. But your time is short. Waste not fruitless questions on me. The air grows thick with frost, and soon I must return to my eternal slumber. Well, you're pretty much dead, so yeah. It, it, it's getting cold. The temperature is dropping. They want you to sleep, like me, forever. F forever you must escape this cold tomb, for there are other secrets frozen in time. Oh, okay. Well, she's laying down again. Need to get out of here. That door is the only way. Must open the door and get out of here. Dear, it's cold. So cold. Um, now here's another puzzle, of course. I believe we have to just make it so that this one goes up. Um, I don't quite remember how this puzzle works. Oh, I see. We're engaging this little thing down here. So we should be able to... So I think we're just engaging said piece. Yeah, there we go. Repetitive motions. And then we just turn it. Are we done? Not done. Oh dear, what have I forgotten? What have I forgotten now? <laughs> that should have been it. Yeah, there we go. 
I did do it right. I just accidentally moved that top one when I wasn't supposed to. Oh, so looks like we're out of this cold. More head shakes. What the hell are you doing? Excuse me? Cutting my research department in half? Pulling most of my funding? Despite the fact that my department, my research is coming remarkably close to a cure. Oh, your research. May I remind you that the Mercy Foundation was created around the success of my hope drug, not vague promises of a cure? Rather than wasting resources on an entirely new path, you need to channel your energies toward making the hope drug better. I thought that a few cutbacks would communicate this to you. Maybe you're not as bright as I thought. You know, I think I figured you out. You're not interested in a cure. You just want hope to bring you more prestige, more money. Oh, you smart bastard. Give me back my department, otherwise I'll... I'll leave. I'll take my research with me, and find a company that's more concerned with finding a cure than filling its pockets. I... I can't believe that your opinion of me is so low, Max. We're friends. You're blowing the whole thing out of proportion, taking this personally. Your sister didn't die of DNA V, Max. I'm... Uh, I apologize. No, it, it's all right. <sighs> Those cutbacks are based solely on existing statistics. The truth is that it's difficult to measure the success of your research against the proven methods of the HOPE treatment. Look, you don't have to leave Mercy to continue with your project. I'll look over the numbers again. We'll work something out. Hmm. Feel dizzy. So more story and the plot gets quite a lot clearer, actually. An empty brass urn. Yay. Urns. Um, there's a couple of things in this office. Nope, not the urn. A book of matches. Okay, well, we take that. Nice oak desk. Sturdy. Sturdy indeed. Dr. Morgan has an iron bust of himself. <laughs> Pretentious. We can pick it up. Pick up that bust. And we can use it on this wall, because it's kind of craggy looking. Hua! And then climb through. This wall looks... Pretty badly damaged. And one more go. An iron. Yep, one more. Uh, yes. There we go. Took two hits. I smell gas. Must be an open valve nearby. Well, we can turn pipe valve. Turn that valve. A pipe U joint. So we can take this one, and then we can go. Pro I think we have to go replace it with a different pipe, so we can warm up the freezer, pretty much. Uh, I believe this way is the correct path. Yes. The tag on this body says seven. There are no names on these tags. This just says six. One of these bodies can be a Lord burn. Lord knows how many bodies have gone into this oven. No. Maybe something else. What is over here? How do I start up this gruesome thing? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like it worked. What's in here now? There we go. Okay. So, now we have to find the Yuck. number seven body. Uh, it, it won't let you put any other bodies on there, I don't believe. The tag on this one says nine. So you can only grab seven, I believe. And then we burn him, because that's what morticians do. And then we acquire... Ugh. Hope this isn't anyone I know. Yeah. A glass eye. Don't think the owner will miss it. I don't think so either. Well, we can close the store. We don't need this anymore. It was very nice of this place to, or the very nice of the a level to, to not put another puzzle here. to start up the damn machine. <laughs> you already had to do a that damn wrench. door. Yeah, monkey wrench. Okay, so now we have the monkey wrench. We can go down here, and I believe we can use it a to um, exchange this pipe over here with the U pipe. Up. That ought to defrost this whole building. Yep, and it's defrosting this area over here. Now, we don't need to do anything outside quite yet. Give it up, and that door should it stay open now. Warmer in here. Yep. And if we look, number seven's right here. Now, this may take you a little bit to get uh, ready. Or, well, not really get ready. Oh, damn it, no. 
but uh, I don't quite recall where we're supposed to do this. Oh, wait, no, I also need to go... First of all, I need to go get those ashes. I totally forgot about the urn and the ashes. Pull that guy's body out and we'll take up the ashes. Yep. Need to get those ashes. Now we can close that door. Sorry about that. <laughs> Quickly run away from what I was just about to do. But, um, we need to open up number seven's uh, body bag thingy. And we need to use his glass okay. eye. I don't recall if there's anywhere... What's the point? Oh. Am I supposed to use matches to light up? There we go. Empty. Wait a second. There are scratches all over the inside. And we can use... These scratches yeah. don't look arbitrary. Was someone trying to communicate something? And the thing is, we can use... Now what? Magic. Use the eye. So you'd have to right-click to get out of it. And now we can see... There once was a man who planted a tree and spoke to it daily in rever in reverent rhyme in, or in spoke to it daily in reverent rhymes. Before the man did before the man died, he shared it it with me. The rhyme I have spoken. To the tree, man, uh, many times. Approach it with caution, and whisper the these words. Oh, whisper these words. I'm trying to find it. Speak to me, tree. Lies you? Oh, wait. What? Oh, speak to me, tree. Lest your eyes nest with birds. Well, that was an eye-opening experience. Da -dum well, there's a clue. We found a clue, and we're done. So now we're done with that eye. I don't think we can speak to her again. She's dead. Isn't she? Am I going crazy? Yeah, she's dead. It was just an evil zombie lady. So now that we've got that clue, which is helpful, we can go out here... And we can also use Brass the earth. urns right there to read. The ashes show faint scratches. A name, Paul Stark. And so that's what the name we need to go speak to the tree. And yes, the tree is indeed here. Right here. See how it's alive? The tree, it moves. Speak to me, tree. Lest your eyes nest with birds. See? Why have you summoned me, stranger? Normally it is the man with the glass eye who speaks the words of commandment. I'm afraid he's dead. But he left behind the cryptic message that led me to you. Very well. What is it that you seek? I seek a name. Who are you? My name is Malus Ionsis. I am the guardian of the light, protector of the grove. Oh. How do you guard the light? It's all around us. Fool! The light. It is housed within the heart of ancient mighty warriors. They alone understand the true meaning of sacrifice. I don't understand. What do you sacrifice? Freedom, movement, growth. My limbs ache to stretch upwards into the nurturing sunlight. Yet I must remain steadfast, lest my trunk stray from its position in the grove. I am he who must remain in place. Ah. Uh. Why must the grove be protected? Greed, pride, evil. These aspects of humanity threaten all life. Thus I remain, and none may pass, save one. Who? The Creator. The Creator? The Creator? Yes. By his name only shall I be swayed from my place. And we know that name, Paul Stark. In the name of your Creator, Paul Stark, I command you to move aside. Paul Stark, the Creator. 
He who planted my seed and gave me life. In his name, I do as commanded. Very cool. And we gain entrance to the grove. Strange and wonderful prism. It seems to focus the light that passes through it. And that is the clue that we needed to proceed to the next bit. And that means we need to take the gem Str and shine it to the Aztec god up there. Yes, the light! It's opening the door! Haha, -ha, we are in! And that is almost well, the end Max, of it. Oh, geez. I don't know how you found me, but you're too late. I'm leaving now. Leaving you here with the rest of the dead people. Damn you, Morgan! Damn you! Damn you, Morgan! Number five is written next to this passage. Spoken rituals, visual elements, even the placement of participants all conformed to the balance between two states. And that is a clue as to what we need to do next. This is also a very kind of difficult... Their cosmic structure was simple. Earth below in the form of twin mountains. The sun and stars above. Over these, another world exists, one beyond this life. There's a number one written next to this passage. And there's a bunch of different uh, things around this place you can look. Statue of an Aztec warrior. It looks almost lifelike. The secret to activating the device appears to be the use of five distinct symbols. Huh, looks like an Aztec calendar. But something's wrong. There's a device hooked up to it. Anarchy 2012. This is something the normal Aztec calendar. Some of the parts move. Yep. And so here is the next puzzle. Um, you're supposed to line up these sections. And it gives you the clue as to how we're supposed to proceed here. And basically you're just supposed to line these sections up accordingly. I believe... can't recall how this quite goes. I'm gonna quickly do it though, just so we can get this sucker down here. I believe it's mountains. The sun rising over the mountains. Then obviously it's the sun. Then it's the eye, yes. And then it's the lower eye. And then it's nothing. Shoot. <laughs> Unless there's two mountain sections. Oh, there are two mountain sections. Okay, so there's that's also kind of the gimmick here, I believe, or not. Oh, there's multiple, multiple ones there. I don't think we can have a blank section, I don't think. Unless unless there is. Well that one has to line up with that one, so I believe. Yes, that one has to line up with that one. Nope, that's not quite right either. Come on, game. Show me my truth. There's that. To work this way. <laughs> There's that. I don't quite recall if we can have an empty space there. No, we can't. Is that... Well, it's the same empty space. Hmm. The clues around the room can give you a clue as to what you're supposed to do. But... There must be a different one over here that we can use. So I don't recall if they're supposed to line up completely correctly or not. Let me try this one. It's a blank. Blank slate. This one has to have a picture on it, yeah. So this one has to be something else. Oh, 
That was close. Okay, so that's that's it. Right there, that's it. Hmm. But, but I got it. This isn't a normal Aztec calendar. Some of the parts move. Don't you don't you reset it on me? No, this is should be right. There, there, and there. Hmm. Now what do, do I have to press something else or? The secret to activating the device appears to. Hmm. But it looks like I got it though. All right. Well, I'm gonna quickly um, do this off camera, I believe. And basically, all you have to do is uh, I'll try to show. I'll try to give you the um, correct sections. And uh, right before, I'll, I'll I'll keep recording, but I'll cut out the section that I'm doing this. But um. I'll show you what it's supposed to be at the end, and I will get back to you in a little bit. Yes! What the? Okay, well, if you were uh, paying attention there, uh, I was only two moves away, <laughs> so I was pretty darn close. Um, it was just the first section of the symbol that I had to uh, get correct. So, um, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was uh, pretty quick there. I hope you uh, also got through that easily. Um, thank you very much for watching. I have been Colloquial Captain, and uh, have a good day. I will day. soon become a true statue. Right, you.